my name is Jolotl Alvarado, I'm from Mexico City. I'm part of a collective that is based in Mexico City, it's also a space. We run this space science five years ago. It's mainly a space, uh, we came from an artistic background, but since the beginning the space was a kind of meeting point of discussions that are related with uh, cultural production, but also with uh, activism process and communitary process in Mexico. There exists really this uh, fight of these worlds, of these spheres, and we are doing a, a work to, to bring this discussion and to, 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 to put on the table the importance of having this, this contact. So we work as an open space and we have like uh, a lot of uh, seminars and educational programs. We have a printing machine that is also a cooperative machine uh, for the entire scene of contemporary art, but also for different practices. And we are part of this uh, arts collaboratory network uh, that Yumana is going to, to talk. Uh, and maybe you could present a, a little bit about Alma. So as Yolotan said, I'm, um, I'm Jumana Abud and um, I'm working as Associate Director at the Maman Foundation for Contemporary Art in East Jerusalem. And uh, we are a non-profit, non-government uh, art uh, institution that uh, was founded by Jack Rusakian in 1997. Yeah, speak closer. Thanks. Sorry. Um, and uh, we've been operating in the old city and our main, our main goal is to work uh, towards encouraging and promoting Palestinian art and the discourse around uh, Palestine um, and Palestinian artists. And uh, we're very happy to be part of the Arts uh, Collaboratory. Um, and that's how we met uh, Crater in, in Bartedo and lots of other uh, institutions as well that, were, um, that are involved. And uh, we can maybe speak about the um, art school laboratory. Uh, well, art school laboratory is a network uh, that has like 25 organizations, 23 organizations working on it from different parts of Asia, Latin America, Africa, and also from the Netherlands. And uh, it was founded like 15 years ago as an initiative from Doen and Evo's Foundation from the Netherlands to fund uh, uh, artist organizations that are working with social issues. And then it has been changing. We, as Catherine Bertido, we start working with arts collaboratory science one year and a half ago. And like four, four weeks ago, we have an assembly of the entire network in Senegal, and we are kind of uh, pushing to to change the structure of this network, to change the idea of funding and this paradigm of uh, capital and labor. And we were thinking and how to change this idea of value in production that we are doing all this production of knowledge, all this production of uh, community process, and that we are also funding the funders. So trying to, to, to change this idea and we are uh, trying to build a, a model for the entire network to be self-governance and to have a, a different uh, treats with, uh, with donors and with funders and deciding how to use the, this pot of money and, and deciding how to, to, to work with it. At the same time, it's a platform for shared knowledge, shared experiences from different uh, programs of each organization. For, him, for example, we have this art school laboratory project that it's a platform to share radical education process in art uh, in all the organizations. And also we have a lobbying, lobbying project that it's also a sharing platform for the organizations and two more. I don't know if you want to add something. I mean, part of um, what we are sharing is very much related to we each bring what we are bringing into the pot. Uh, as Yolotal was saying, is very much related to um, each institution's context. 
um, and how we try to work. So how we're trying to work in Jerusalem, how we're, they're trying to work in Mexico, how other institutions are trying to work in Colombia, in, uh, in Senegal, in uh, Indonesia, in many other uh, locations in the Middle East, and Latin America, and Africa, and Asia. Um, and one of um, the, the strengths is that we are, we're trying almost to find ways to fill gaps for each other. So uh, in terms of when we meet once a year for these um, assembly, collabor collaborative assemblies, and um, where we last met was in the Senegal, and before that we met in Indonesia, what happens is in fact we, we meet so that we can discuss who we are, what we are working on, what we can do collaboratively, and how we can try to build models that can fill these gaps for each other. So for example, if we're starting a new art school at the Mahamal Foundation in Jerusalem, and we don't have the economic you know, resources enough of, or the human resources, but we know that it is potentially possible. So we try to find ways to speak to the arts collaboratory network of partners and to seek ways in which we can, in fact, aid each other, how we can, um, uh, you know, fill these, fill these gaps in terms of what um, other institutions, through their experience and their context, um, what they have done and what they can then give and what we can give back in return. So there's a lot of this um, helpful and uh, very unique as well, I would say, exchange um, that, that has so much potential in how we can kind of fulfill the debt and the, the, the gaps. Yeah, and something like that is really important to say is that a lot of organizations are non-profits or organizations that are working in hierarchical structures. So it's also, it's not like we are all doing uh, this kind of horizontal practices or this kind of assembly modes, but it's also when, when we are trying to do this as a network, it's also the way this uh, experiment, it's going to each organization and to each country and also changing the own structures of, of the organizations, but also for, for the funders that, that they are also like looking for new ways of relate with uh, art production and with funding. And so I, I could uh, finish asking about this, this question between how can these models could be used for new ways of capitalism and new ways of, of work uh, that could be co-opted.